Dear Gloria, if a philosopher is a lover of wisdom, then you are a philosopher. For your poems and prose testify a love of wisdom so fierce and fearless in the face of ambiguity that I can feel something in the dark corners of my mind and my soul growing each time I encounter your words. I want to share a trip with you that I took to Big Bend. I experienced body, mind, and spirit, the kind of borderlands, both akin to the Rio Grande Valley of the migrant farmers in your writing, but also distinct in its seclusion further into West Texas. This is a place of mountains and cacti, bears and javelinas, hot days and frigid nights, of dry, dusty earth and life-giving river that serves both sides of a political border, but cares not whether you are Mexican or American. This is a place that invites me to explore the plurality of place and of self, just as you do. She is willing to share, to make herself vulnerable to foreign ways of seeing and thinking. She surrenders all notions of safety of the familiar. Deconstruct, construct. She becomes a Nahal able to transform herself into a tree, a coyote, into another person. She learns to transform the small I into the total self. A boulder, precariously balanced and yet precisely where it was supposed to be. Because I, a mestiza, continue to walk out of one culture and into another, because I am in all cultures at the same time. Even in the dry season, there is life if you know where to look. Where in my life have I missed the chance for growth out of fear of contradiction, fear of stepping off the safe path set before me? Rigidity means death. The new mestiza copes by developing a tolerance for contradictions, a tolerance for ambiguity. She learns to be Indian in Mexican culture, to be Mexican from an Anglo point of view. She learns to juggle cultures. She has a plural personality. Nothing is thrust out. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Nothing rejected nothing abandoned. I loved driving through tunnels as a child. Is darkness not just absence, but perhaps the space for possibility? I am an act of needing, of uniting and joining that not only has produced both a creature of darkness and a creature of light, but also a creature that questions the definition of light and dark and gives them new meanings. I am short of breath at the top and I am reborn. The dirt beneath my feet on the way down is not the same because I am not the same. Growth, death, decay, rebirth. The soil prepared again and again, impregnated, worked on. To step into the river means that I am neither solely in Mexico nor in the United States, and yet I am not without place. The river is not static. It is constantly moving, 
carving out the canyon floor, providing life to an entire ecosystem. It is not a line on a map. The borderlands here and inside us are not static. They are not the edges of life and culture. They are life and culture. At some point on our way to new consciousness, we will have to leave the opposite bank, the split between the two moral combatants somehow healed so that we are on both shores at once and at once see through the serpent and eagle eyes. To the people of Bequilis, whose lives are attached to the river and the tourism of Big Bend, thank you for your hospitality. And I am sorry for the threat of a wall and all that means for your livelihood. Dear Gloria, as the sun goes down behind the edge of Santa Elena Canyon, I'm thankful to this place for showing me all of the possibility, the borderlands of Mestiza consciousness. Because the future depends on the breaking down of paradigms. It depends on the straddling of two or more cultures by creating a new mythos, that is, a change in the way we perceive reality, the way we see ourselves, and the way we behave, La Mestiza creates a new consciousness.